Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. We broke the curse of the five episodes! At last! Uh, if that makes absolutely no sense to you, I, I, I'm not the least bit surprised. Just check back on some of the other content on my YouTube channel. Um, but last time out, we took a little bit of a... Um, a little bit of a what's the word a bit of a diversion and did a job for regina and uh made sure that one honest cop one of the only honest cops in the city uh didn't end up um as scop in a garbage pile somewhere and now we're finally at lizzie's bar we're going to head inside and uh speak to evelyn parker who's the one who's actually got dexter sean to set up this job to hey recover there, the relic face. well and hey there yourself uh, sure. Sounds good. Sure. In I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. <laughs> Have fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. Um, well, thanks, ladies. So, the ladies, um, quote unquote, on offer in this establishment, um, aren't actually for, uh, My, what a sweet little face you have. Aren't actually for, uh, hands on pleasure, uh, by the looks of it, but you can, you can load up pre recorded BDs of them, um, in action, I guess. Right, the mocks. Let's read a little bit more about uh, about the guys and dolls in this establishment. It's one of those stories that's either very simple or very complicated, depending on who you ask. For Janice, it was a mix of both. The mocks came to exist because it had to. We didn't have a soul in our corner, no one to make sure street justice was on our side, so we took matters into our own hands. The mocks is comprised of the people who, if any of them disappeared from the streets tomorrow, you might never even notice. Sex workers, any less artists, aimless rebels, and restless souls who weren't dealt a fair hand in life. Today, the mocks is thriving, as demonstrated by the booming beers at Lizzie's Bar. Lizzie's is, rena uh, is renowned... Lizzie's is renowned, surely, for being arguably the best brain dance club in Night City. Corporate suits, gang goons, pop stars and locals alike all gather at Lizzie's to kick back, have a drink and dip into the most beautifully scrolled and tuned BDs you've ever experienced. Most customers, however, are oblivious to the fact that the club is gang owned and operated, that the mocks are in charge, watching after their own, just like the Lizzie of legend once did. Know the story? Lizzie used to work here back when it was just a typical dive with a stripper pole, Janice proudly explained. She took care of the girls, made sure the eddies were falling into their pockets and their teeth weren't falling to the curb. Like this one time, this fucker, editor's note referring to a Tiger Claws gang member, boo his, was having too much fun with one of the girls and Lizzie just couldn't stomach it anymore. Story is, she deprived the worm of his little tiger ball so quick and nasty it took them two days to clean up all the blood and puke splatter. Oh, ho, ho, ho. of course, the Claws found out fast and they flatlined her in a flash, but everyone that she had impacted in some way, they were still around. They came together, fought back and, well, you already know the rest. So this place and the Mox Gang are the legacy of Lizzie, standing up for the uh, the downtrodden and the forgotten. Okay. Um, you have anything else to say? Nope. Right. Let's uh, let's see ourselves in. <laughs> have you been Have you been denied entry? Sucks to be you. Yeah, no surprise there. Well, look at this place. Lizzie's bar is very, very cool. Um, okay, so our objective is to tell us to uh, go sit at the bar and ask about Evelyn, but just before we do, let's have a quick look around. Next time you fuck something up. When was the last time I fucked anything up? Huh? Seriously? How far back you want me to go? This looks like this conversation could turn nasty. Tomato juice and... <laughs> Why do we have medical forceps in a club? Um, I'd rather not hang around to find out. Ooh, what do we have here? Uh, let's quickly check out upstairs. Um, good evening. Okay. We went 
there yesterday. Huh. Drawing up Nick. He sounds like he's uh, had a few too many tonight. Right. Just having a, a very quick scan around just to see if there's anything of interest around here for us before we um, before we go a step further. Uh, what have we around here? Oh. Oh. Uh, private rooms. Wait, hold on. What? Maybe there is some uh, hands-on entertainment to be had in this place. Huh. I thought it was all BDs, but clearly not. Um, what have we got here? Maxed up. Nope, that's locked out. That's locked out. Uh, what have we through here? Oh, God. Um, should I be in here? I don't think I should. I'm going to back out. Let's see what do we have around here. Clothing. We'll take a proper look at that a bit later. Oh, hello. The Vampire Prince is back. Monster Hunters beware. Turbo Dracula is a dark, gritty, visceral action game experience where you play as the plasma-thirsty prince of puncture wounds himself, Dracula. He has risen again, this time as a digiclone in the body of Chrome, but his appetite for blood hasn't waned one bit. Assisted by the descendants of an ancient bloodline, he wages war against the sinister Helsing Corp, headed by the demon brothers Manchester. They aim to take over the world with the help of genetically spliced werewolf zombies. Dracula must face difficult choices, such as whether to resurrect his old friend Viago, or to transmute into his nemesis. A polished real-time combat system and non-linear storyline offer the player deep immersion in single-player, while the multiplayer mode allows you to team up with your Chumbas as they take control of the brooding Varney or blonde fan favourite Herbert. Without spoiling any of the endings, yes, multiple endings, I'll leave you with just one thing. Lady Carmilla Ruthven Batteroy is hands down the most captivating character ever written in the 100 year history of video games, period. <laughs> Again, nice to see traditional video games aren't dead in a world of uh, brain dances. What have we got here? Oh, hello, DJ Booth. Um, can, <laughs> can I just waltz my way through? I guess I can. Uh, excuse me, sorry, pardon me. Um, do you feel a little bit bad just looting the place like this? Oh, hi. Long time no see. Yeah. Okay, I think that. Um, well, that looks uncomfortable. Come back to my place. All right, let's uh, let's head downstairs and get over to the bar. I I wouldn't. Oh dear. This won't end well. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to start something. Oh, hello. NC Nightlife. Drinks, dancing, debauchery. If you're a dance head like us, don't miss out on Lizzie's. Hey, you'll find no better brain dance club in the city, no matter how deep you dig. Modern boxes, solid tech, but most important, the catalogue. Chock full of nearly any exp... Uh, experience you can imagine. You'll find everything you need to get you off, fast or slow, nasty or classy, and everything in between. Don't let the girls at the front door scare you off or kill your buzz. They're wary of newcomers, but once you get in, they'll treat you like one of their own. Trust us, give Lizzie's a try and you'll never go anywhere else. Now, the afterlife, that's a different story. Sure, you can cut loose and have a good time here, but the afterlife is a place of business above all else. Want to meet a fixer about a job that needs doing? discuss important gig details with a client over drinks, or maybe just sit back and people watch to see the comings and goings of the NC Underworld's biggest merc and fixer names, the afterlife is a great place for all of the above. The only place, really. If you're looking for the city's marquee events, you'll find yourself at Riot. Chart-topping playlists, live performances, and the brightest stars, both local and from around the world. DJ battles, unique music shows, and media-packed album premieres. Sound like your scene? Don't miss out on Riot. Hey, another round over here, Stat. So, what can a horny girl like me do for a hungry guy like you? Another of the mocks hard at work. Right, oh, there was something blue on the floor over here. Excuse me. Beep, beep. 
there's going to come a stage um, pretty soon, I think, where we're going to have to stop collecting food and drink because we're, we're just going to max out <laughs> everything that we're carrying. Hey. Get you something. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm tempted to ask if Lizzie still works here, but I already know the answer from that uh, shard at the front desk. Um, yeah, I'm looking for... Say something? Yeah, all right. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? Uh, a big tipper? Well, I mean, we, we've got the, uh... Well, we've got the level for it. A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture. Truly. But I'm afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Hello there. Evelyn Parker. V, I knew it was pleased you to meet you. you walked in. <laughs> as soon as I walked in, went upstairs, started rooting around, robbed half the place dry. Oh, wow, you don't hang around, do you, V? Only tequila I drink. Hm. How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Hmm. Um, yeah, why in this place? Why we meet in here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on, no place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. <laughs> Talking about you? We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. Because that's that's not a very nice thing to say about him. He's he seems okay, you know. Uh, after me, then, I guess. Racy. Right, so what's this job all about? Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Um, Dex has got a vivid imagination, seeing as we haven't actually uh, <laughs> met before today. Uh, I'm the best. You don't care what Dex thinks. I'm waiting. Yeah, you don't care what Dex thinks, do you? You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? Um, no. <laughs> He's lying through his teeth. We haven't actually met before today. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. The other kind? Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. Hmm. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Okay, let's speak about the job. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic, secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. To say the mm. least. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me... I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, not exactly the sort of uh, place I hang out at. Classy corp hotels? Mm, yeah, no. How do my price range? Hmm. Oh, the decor's to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? <laughs> He's in town? The heir to the corporation. Read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What, so Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Yorinobu is not going to be easy to get to. Top dog like Yorinobu is bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City? And a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Hmm. Um. Okay, let's see if we can find out a bit more information about uh, Yorinobu. So I'm waiting. we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Hmm. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Wait, why is he selling the relic to Netwatch? Wait, neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. Okay. Uh, yeah, and what are Netwatch doing for Yorinobu? If they work for the Corps, Militech and Arasaka, Yorinobu's kind of on the fringe. See? So what's Yorinobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. Ooh. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens, and I get the chip. Ha! Huh. She's cagey. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. <laughs> okay, hold up. You started the conversation. Um, right, so this this relic, what, why do you want it? One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant, entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. She looks a Listen bit rattled. Me, the relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Okay, anything else you can tell me about Yorinobu? What else do you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. 
Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path, and so has his own designs on the corp. I heard that Yorinobu Arasaka was a little bit of a rocker boy in his time after he sort of split from his daddy's empire. Could be another power-hungry corpo deck, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain oh. dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits. Mm -hmm. Jacking off to yeah, in those yeah, boxes. No. Would you it can be a very useful else? tool. Good for oh, analyzing oh. details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't huh? grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. You. Oh. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Uh, no, not at all. I, I I, won't ask what you were doing there. No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. Yeah. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Uh -oh. Try not to forget. Understood. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. <laughs> uh yeah, it's impressive. Impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances? Mm-hmm. Analyzers, sensory sig amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. All right, all right. <laughs> Compiled your BD yet. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Judy's really into her art. You can tell Believe she loves what me, she does. I've dealt with worse. Should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Uh, yeah, what's... What do you mean, raw? What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Okay. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. All right, in I go.
Gotta create your sensory profile first. Uh, what now? A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue viral. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're Ew. not about to let that happen. Nuh-uh. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. <laughs> now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingle. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking business as usual for these guys. <laughs> Their minds want grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So, I can't complain. Oh yeah, One she loves second. her work. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay, all set. You need to test your profile first, tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see, where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Uh, yeah, what are you going for? <laughs> what are you throwing me into? What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly though. You ready? Lay it on me. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. What was he messing with there? Looked like the now, surveillance, I guess. On the ground. What I see you kissing the flooring. Money. Now, or I will fucking drop you. I swear to God. Whoa. Yeah. Hey. Uh, uh, now. Before I blow your fucking head off! Oh. Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. Uh, yeah, you could, could have warned me I was going to get shot in the head at the end. A flash of intense. Shock. I can still feel it. I remember. Fuck. That last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not uh, so sure about that. How would you know that? You'll be fine. Got everything set up. Let's switch over to editing mode. Sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array, you'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control and analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. Nice. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Okay, so X is playing pause. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream is hell, right? <laughs> no, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. 
Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. I love the way that the environment, as seen sort of through his eyes, is, is kind of like a point cloud. Um, and interesting as well that obviously things that are behind objects that he's looking at are obscured. Like you can't see that section of the wall. Very cool. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't be Okay. Nice. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Hold Y to restart. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the Enviro recorded by the BD Roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Okay, so you can only scan a clue during uh, moments when it's perceivable by the person recording the brain dance. So this guy's still got the gun holstered at the moment. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Oh, here we go. Okay, right here. Bold sections on the track. Oh, you got the three tracks at the top. Okay, so the gold one is the visual layer, the blue one is the thermal layer, and the green one is the sand layer. Bold sections on the track indicate a scannable clue. The clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence if the editor is set to the correct layer. Clues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap on the recording track will be especially bright. Okay. After being successfully scanned, clues disappear from the track. Okay, so just point to it to scan. Excellent. Let's move on. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, so there's a bounce between the tracks at the top. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay. Fuck! On you ah, little shitheads! <laughs> go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. <laughs> Seriously, like it was happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. So that's interesting. So this, this came through the ventilation system. It sounded as though it was someone that had been sent to the stock room whilst the other guy um, mans the register. Shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? <laughs> hey, what was what was this sound? Oh wait. Okay, fuck on you, little shitheads. Oh, here it is. Go restock. I'll take the register. Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? Oh, here we go. He's coming around, so you can actually see inside the store now. Oh, it's so slick. Everybody. Uh, to switch between available brain dance layers, press. Okay. Sometimes sweet. you can analyze extra layers in the raw stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh? Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches okay. out the gonk at the counter. Uh, can we... I'm trying to work out if there's an easy way to get the camera to go up and down. On the ground! You want to see you kissing the flooring? Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. Alright, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. <laughs> well, that was right at the end, wasn't now, it? Now, where I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Whoa, yeah, 
see that. Oh. They shot him and he never saw it coming. I missed it. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. Wait, hold on. So I didn't actually get to see the shot. Oh, wow. Guy was just lurking behind the unit. His own chumba shot him. Probably <laughs> planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. No way. So because he died at the end, people wanted to actually experience a real death would pay more for this BD. It's crazy. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the law. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. I still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Oh. Martin from my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. A problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Uh, Ev? Evelyn, I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Bug. Judy, please. Ev, she wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only perch in this footage? Observe, not fuck with anything. Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out. Just like we planned. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. She does not seem happy about having someone uh, jumping in on this experience. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Peggy. Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? <laughs> Hold on, so Judy didn't even know what this footage is? Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got there it. There she is. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. Judy's not happy at all about having her access the system. But we need to help. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Yurinobu's keeping the relic. Oh. Oh, hello. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn. She. I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. You're an Obu Arasaka. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Uh, hold on. Let me watch the rest of it through first. Finish. We shall see soon enough. Ah, it's a phone conversation. Got it. My father's a tired, 
visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. Yorinobu obviously uh, hasn't made amends with his dad then. We'll listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot. Wow. Champagne's Utterly decent. Removed from the taste boosted somehow? Stuck in no, some fossilized vision of a world Same bubbly, you'll that no longer real exists. Soon. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. What was Evelyn doing there? It looked like she was accessing that tablet. Not it. In hmm, hung up. Go back to when they first start talking. Need to hear the whole thing. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, that... I'm guessing that was a continuation of the call that was taking place up on the video wall. The guy who said, um, they'll have my head for this. Oh. Sorry to make you wait. Business. Can be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Um, long ooh. Okay, this is getting uncomfortable. Is everything alright? You seem tense. Edgy. A moment. It will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Oh, Only one. Daring. Focus on me. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Oh, hello. Very nice, but come here already. Oh, wait, hold on. Just a sec. Reading through his... Looking for the perfect thing. She's reading through his messages. Ah, uh, you'll like this. Right, I want to go back and check those messages. There was something from... There was the, the, the penis enlargement scam email, but there was another one as well. Oh, fuck. It, oh, it's like I'm ooh. really... V, eye on the prize. Focus. Yeah, that's the problem. I've got my eye on Why his prize. I miss this. You. I know. Oh, thank God. Um, <laughs> okay, so, right. I want to just take a little scan back. I want to take a look at that message. I also want to see if we can scan that tablet. Yes. Right, so hold on. So that bar up in the gold uh, the, the gold band there is showing that there's something scannable. I reckon we could probably scan that tablet. Um, we need to go into editing mode. All right, there's Ms. Parker herself. Aha! Right, what have we got? So it looked like she was Mail trying to access special this. Tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So chip's got to stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Oh. It should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Damn it, I wanted to read that. I wonder if we re-highlight it, we might be able to read it. No, it's not going to let us, is it? Ah, I really wanted to read the actual, um... The information about the biochip. Okay, never mind. Uh, but it, it essentially tells us that uh, biochip storage, thermal case, has to be kept at 2 to 8 degrees. Okay. Thermal layer is now unlocked. To switch between layers, press right bumper. Okay, before we do that, there's something else to... Ah, hello. I was about to say there's something else to scan here. A weapon. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Hmm. Noted. Liberty. So, constitutional arms, liberty custom, owner, Yoronobu Arasaka. So, that's his personal firearm. Right, let's rewind... Um, so I want to actually switch layer, uh, layers, switch modes. I want to go back to playback mode and actually go back to that, um, go back to that email. So there were two emails, one of them, oh wait, hold on. That didn't appear before. Right, hold on, let's, 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 let's just, <laughs> let's just let this play out again. That was a different email than we saw before, I'm Very sure nice. it was. Scam alert. Do not click any emails without for penis enlargement. Right. Oh, wait. Hold on. Right. Uh, from Angelica Miliotti in clouds. Uh, your time in the clouds. 
Dear Mr. Arasaka, as always, we thank you for using our services. We hope Clarence was able to make your stay in Night City more pleasant, unforgettable even. We would be honoured to serve you again. Okay. For the perfect thing. Now, there was another one just now as well. Hold on. Where is it? There was another one. Oh, it keeps appearing and disappearing. Right. Oh, it's that one. She's just, she swipes it away, but it doesn't appear properly. Wait, that's from Clouds. Fine. But come here, be here already. Ah, there it is. Got it. From Anders Hellman. Subject, relic, urgent. Please forgive me, but the matter is truly urgent. Wait, that was the guy. Was that the guy that he was speaking to on the video wall? The biochip must be returned to the laboratory immediately. Otherwise, I cannot be held accountable for either its state or functionality. I assume you have been misled, but let me be abundantly clear now. The relic is not ready for use in its current state. I will continue attempting to contact you by any and all possible means. I will be happy to explain everything, even over a phone call. Yes, it was him. Right. Let's get all the way back to the start and listen to that phone call, because that sounds juicy. Go, 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 go. I wonder if this is quicker in editing mode, actually. Seems to be about the same speed, but at least we can um, we can actually pick up the call. Right. Oh my gosh, there's so much to scan! Right, we need to switch layers, don't we? We need to go to the... Oh, wrong. Audio layer. Okay. Let's take it back, 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 back. All right. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers gotta be fancy doodads in here. Need to be controlled. Okay, so servers inside this wall. Okay. But uh... make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. Aha. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old greybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. We'll listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. He despises his father, doesn't he? may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read Whoa. the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no, provide them. You know. Already found those docks. <laughs> somewhere else. Wow, he was not interested in the rest of that conversation, was he? Wow. Um, right, so that's everything for the audio track by the looks of it. Uh, let's switch back to visual. We've got a few points right at the very beginning of the track, haven't we? Uh, one of them must be... Uh, one of them must be that big guy that was there when we first walked in. Whoa. Jeez. Yep, this is our guy. Uh, data. So we've got no information about name, although he did come up as Smasher when he was talking. Level 3 boss Arasaka. Yeah, he's not particularly pleasant. Oh, alarm system. Alarm firmware's fresh, but... Saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Right, so T-Bug can hack the security system. That's something, at least. Motion sensor camera. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. <laughs> Just need access to their subnet. Fuck all, mate. Are you? Pleasant chap. Um, yeah, sorry, T-Bug. Wasn't doubting your skills there. Oh, hang on. There's another one. Same thing. Motion sensor camera. 
Right, we've got one last thing that we can scan on the, on this visual layer. Here. Right, hold on. So she was she was leading by the hand and she was walking him along. What did she see? Oh. Oh, another camera? No, it wasn't that. What did she spot? Oh, got any candy left? That's pretty last time. Wait, 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 wait. What am I missing? What am I missing? I'm missing something visual. I'm missing something on the gold <laughs> visual track. What am I not seeing? Must be something over here, I would have thought. Because this is the direction she was facing. Where am I? What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, hello. Oh, turrets. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally, no way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Right. Makes sense now what Dex Can't wants the uh, the flathead for. No. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. All right. That makes some more sense. Right, so we've got something on the thermal layer that we can check out. Okay, she's been scanning something since she walked in. So there's something on the table here. That's just refreshments, isn't it? Champagne and ice bucket. Oh, Donna Geese. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? <laughs> no way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Yeah, it's a little bit amateur. What else we got? Another temperature sick. Oh, hello. Hidden safe. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Your Nobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm hmm. We've got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Okay, one second. There's one more thing that I can scan. What have we got? Oh, <laughs> is this just another champagne fridge? Yep. Just a fancy ass fridge. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for clearing that up. I, this is probably going to be absolutely nothing, but I can see that there's just one more thing that's. Uh, one more heat signature that can be scanned towards the end of the BD. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Look where it is on the BD. It's right towards the end. I hope this. I hope we're not going to attempt scan Yoranobu Arasaka's crotch or something. Uh, oh no, it's not him, is it? Please say it's not him. Oh. An air conditioner? Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Yep, not that. So that's safe over in the far corner. That has got to be our target. Get everything you need? Yep. Think so. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. She's still not happy about letting T-Bug in, is she? She was not impressed. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. <laughs> Portable Thanks. device for handling VDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Oh. You're talking about us messing with Arasaka. We needed that recording, Judy. BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. 
You go that route, Siri will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Okay, so... We know where our target is. We know we've got to get into Yoronobu Arasaka's uh, penthouse suite at the top of Kampeki Plaza. And we know we've got to get to that safe to retrieve the relic. But we need the flathead to get there. V, one sec. Okay, um, Ev, this conversation is going to have to wait. Uh, I'm going to wrap things up there and take a short break. Thanks very much for watching. Um, I'm going to take a quick look around Judy's uh, workshop here when we come back. And then we need to go and take a, uh, a little visit and say hello to the Maelstrom boys over at the All Foods Clinic. But until then, thank you very much. If you'd like to leave a like or care to leave a comment, you know what to do. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.